Uh, expectations in Parliament. Well, I know that um, we don't go there for fun. We go there to work for the people. The purpose for which the people brought us to Parliament must be fulfilled is to ensure that we respond uh, appropriately to our constituents and also, um, I mean, in responding to their needs, it means you need to develop the place and also ensure that the people are always there for, the, for you, you're always there for them. So I think representing them in Parliament is basically to do uh, the job for the people. What is your first policy or your first uh, project you are going to embark on in your constituency? Well, I, I have a lot of responsibilities to embark on. Uh, for me, the first is to get to the stake, I will co incorporate all the stakeholders in everything I do, and then first ensure there is this uh, traffic congestion in our, um, Odoko, which needs to be dealt with. And in the first place, I think I'll have to tackle that, talk about it with all the stakeholders involved, and then also development. Ablik Manot, we need development. Oh, infrastructure. Uh, the gutters, the roads, you know, to develop it. And also, I am looking up to getting a hospital for Ablik Manot. And then also have a labor office for the people so that we can ensure that most people get jobs to do, which is the first thing I promise them. And I pray to God for his strength and wisdom to be able to accomplish uh, that purpose. Please, do you have any personal agenda? Personal agenda? For me, personal agenda, I think I don't have. Personal agenda, I don't know what you mean by personal agenda, but my aim is to develop the place, get close to the people, ensure that at least most of the people get something to do. And we will always put our heads together. But when you mean personal agenda, I don't have any personal agenda. I, I think my agenda is for the people.